Andreas here, and today I'm doing a special collaboration video with Pet Monster. Uh, Pet Monster came to me and asked me if there's any special bands that I should cover to do this collaboration with him on. And uh, it dawned on me, why don't I cover the last project of my fallen bandmate and friend, JJ Billing. We were in Ravenshade together, as you guys can see the logo here. I'll show you a picture of us on the back. Um, here's JJ, and then obviously me, and then James Scott, who was also in Hartford yesterday. Um, with uh, Chris Stevenson, who's also a friend of mine. So uh, the, the album's called The 13 Days, so without further ado, let's get to the tracks. The first track I want to talk about is Runaway. Now this kicks in with some good energy, some full of, it's just full of classic 80s riffs and atmosphere. I love the little ode to Wasp in the middle uh, during the interlude. Here's a picture of those crazy dudes. Now Runaway is one of those good old uh, road trip type of songs, you know, blasting it on a Friday evening on a summer night. That's what I feel when I feel, uh, listen to this Runaway, so I hope you guys check that one out and tell me what you think of it. Uh, the next song I'll talk about is Living For Tomorrow. This one is uh, definitely one of my favorites off the album. This track has a brilliant ascent into many emotions and you can truly feel the gradual climb as it prepares to deliver uh, tremendously during the chorus. But the song doesn't end there. Uh, the guitar work and the solos are just full of emotion. Uh, JJ Billing and Chris Stevenson absolutely nail it. Uh, the bass is awesome, adds a lot of depth, um, energy, and grooviness to this track. The lyrics are spot on. Living for Tomorrow is one of those songs that is just like, you can't find anything wrong with it in my opinion. I really enjoy this one. I hope you guys check it out. The next song I'm going to mention is just Brief Shooting Star. This is a video tribute to JJ. Um, obviously I have that into the link for you below, so I don't want to spoil it for you. I encourage you guys to check it out, and I hope you guys really, you know, I hope you enjoy Shooting Star. Next song I'm going to talk about is Through My Window. Now this showcases uh, Hartford Yesterday's ability to kind of take a different approach, a uh, serene approach. Pa paints a very calm picture. Uh, there's a lot of nice acoustic guitarists um, in this track, and there's also some couple of raw solos which I really enjoy. I, I think they really complement the acoustic guitar and just the way this song goes. Um, I, I really enjoy Through My Window and like the direction that Hartford Yesterday takes kind of a... Uh, not just hard rock in, in an 80s style, but they, they go a little softer as well. And they show that ability to do that with Through My Window. Last song I'm going to talk about is, might be my favorite, Black Rose. I really enjoy this song. This song hits you right away with a lot of energy and solid power chords. It gets you rocking. Um, there's a slick lead during the chorus that complemented by uh, some perfect vocal melodies. And then the song continually breathes this energy as the tempo excels, actually, I noticed in this song. And just adds so much more energy as the song goes on. You're just like, wow. Um, I really enjoy uh, Black Rose. There's some more badass solo work. But to me, this track is one of those ones you should hit replay on and, until you've had enough of it. I really enjoy Black Rose, and I hope you guys check that one out for sure. Don't forget to check out Pat Monster's side of this collaboration. I hope you guys check out these tracks. Uh, obviously, Heart for Yesterday and all this means a lot to me with JJ uh, passing and everything and, and working with them. Uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more metal content and uh, I'll have some stuff posted for you below. And until next time, folks, happy listening.